What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. Let me ask you a question. <clears throat> Is it more important to emphasize spending less money or earning more money? You know, sometimes I think it'd be cool to have a studio audience because then I could see your real-time answers, but until then, I'll keep asking you this way. Spend less money or earn more money? Hmm, the correct answer is yes. Yes, you should. Uh, what? Spending less and earning more go hand in hand when it comes to having a healthy financial diet. It's like the jelly to your peanut butter. You gotta have both if you wanna have a good sandwich. And in this case, the sandwich is your life. And instead of making food analogies this whole video, let me show you exactly what I mean. Let's start with why earning more money isn't enough. Look. It does not matter how much money you make. Making more money will not fix stupid financial habits. You got to fix the stupid first. The day Shaquille O'Neal got the call from his agent and he found out that he got his first NBA contract and that he just made $1 million, he did what any smart financial planner would do. He went shopping and he blew his entire $1 million in one day. Make a million, spend a million. That sounds like the life. Uh, too bad he forgot that, uh, he had to pay his agent out of that $1 million and he had to pay for his FICA taxes and he had to pay for his income taxes and he had to pay for his food. <laughs> Oops. So Shaq went from millionaire to financial meltdown like that. But lucky for him, he learned from his mistakes very quickly. If you make $5,000 a month, and you have $7,000 a month in expenses, common sense will tell you that if you just earn more money, if you made $7,000 a month, now you fix your financial problem. Man, why didn't anybody tell me that financial planning was so easy? There's only one teeny weeny problem with that. Common sense isn't so common. For the majority of people in a similar situation where you're making $5,000 a month and you have $7,000 a month in expenses, if you go out and you get a promotion or you work really hard and you get a raise and now you make $7,000 a month, you don't just suddenly become a money management genius. Now your expenses shoot up to $10,000 a month. <sighs> And now you're in a bigger financial hole than before. This is why earning more money by itself isn't enough. You gotta fix the stupid money habits first. Now, let's talk about spending less money. Understanding how to spend less than what you make is very, very, very important no matter how much money you make. But spending less usually isn't enough. You gotta look at how you wanna live your life too. If you make $50,000 a year after paying your taxes and you're really aggressive at this and you only live off of $30,000 a year, cool. Now you got $20,000 extra every single year. Well, if you want to travel on exotic vacations and drive a Lamborghini and live in a nice house and help thousands of people in your community and your religious organization while having money left over to invest every single month, you're gonna need more money. If you can discipline yourself to live off of 75% of your income when you make $40,000 a year, hopefully you'll do just fine when it comes to living off of 75% of your income when you make $400,000 a year. Now, you're still living below your means, but you have more money to do the things that you wanna do without worrying about going broke. So, when it comes to spending less, pretend like you make 25% less than what you do right now. So, if you make $40,000 a year, pretend like you only make $30,000 a year. And if you make $100,000 a year, pretend like you only make $75,000 a year and live off of that 75% and put aside that 25% and don't spend it. Now, take that other 25% and use it for either saving or investing depending on where you are in life, but do not spend that money. Now, you have a cushion in case an emergency happens and now you have money to invest which is supposed to go out and earn you more money. And at the same time, when it comes to earning more money, you have two options. You can go the passive route by investing your money, like by using your money to buy an investment seed like real estate, or you can go the active route by doing something like starting a business. And the great thing about being alive right now is that this is the best time in the history of time to start a side business or to start a full out business because 
you have the power of the internet and social media right on your fingertips. Now, not only do you have the opportunity to earn more money and hopefully quit your job, but you get to keep more of your money because now you're playing the money game smart instead of just hard. If you live in America and you start a business, you will get tax breaks that you don't get if you're an employee, which allows you to legally, that's the key word, legally pay less money in taxes because you started a business. If you do want to learn more about this tax game, I already made a video on it and I'll link it in the description below. So when it comes to spending less or earning more, the answer is always yes. That's correct. And if you are looking for more resources on money and investing, we have an ebook on it that you can read for free when you sign up for our money and finance newsletter. And you can do that by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss our new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every Wednesday and Friday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. That way you actually find out when our new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.